Hi, I'm Savannah Jones, and this is the final segment of the three-part interview with Gina Sansevero, VP of Marketing and Corporate Communications for Atlas IED's Sounds Like Success podcast. With project partners David Njeski, design engineer for Pentegra Systems, Dan McGlathry, Pentera Systems Engineering Supervisor, and Justin Young, General Manager for Atlas IED. Find out how they successfully collaborated and adopted to the ever-evolving needs and unforeseen challenges of the OHA. O'Hare Airport project. So what's interesting to me is that O'Hare, while, while Atlas IED has been very well embedded into airports, transportation, but specifically airports for about 40 years, um, there are a lot of firsts in this O'Hare story, right? And, and I think, Justin, if I'm not mistaken, we also created, designed a completely new digital mic station for the entire O'Hare project, specifically because they needed a certain footprint. Is that correct? Yep. That is correct. So we have the IED 570 mic station that was specifically brought uh, to market for the O'Hare project, but then we were able to piggyback off of it and make it more of a catalog item um, after the fact because it was introduced, again, it's Cobernet, a Cobernet uh, touchscreen mic station with that particular footprint but then we also had to create a Dante mic station compatible with it as well. And so now it's not just a custom engineering build, but we're able to kind of migrate that into a catalog item. But you're absolutely right. I That is like sub story for version A <laughs> of this saga of the O'Hare is all these little firsts. Um, it's like, oh, and we also have to worry about this too, so. Well, and, and that, I think that's the cornerstone of a great partnership is where you can have these really wonderful conversations, feedback from the field and say, hey, listen, we need something a little bit different here, not looking for a fully customized package, but let's talk about the functionality and the advantages that we need to show. Um, and then Atlas IED just kind of does what they do best, and that's the design engineering part of it, right? Yeah, these these unique, we always say 90 to 95% of an airport is just off the shelf hardware pieces, but every, specifically large airports, every airport has a five to 10% of that project, which has really got a lot of nuance to it that's very specific to that airport. And that's where Atlas IED kind of sets itself apart because uh, we live in that space. Um, you know, when you approach an OEM hardware manufacturer and saying, oh, I need this special thing just for my job, uh, a lot of them kind of get really jumpy um, and get noncommittal when you start having that conversation because that custom work is, well, A, it's not easy. It's, it's usually hard and it's usually not as uh, cost beneficial uh, typically, but that's, that's kind of where we've made our name over the years. And it's one of the things we wear as a badge of honor is being able to take that last five, 10% and be able to tailor a specific solution to each and every customer. And, and Jason, just to, to reinforce that fact, I can say that it, Pentegra is not is it, we're no we're not strangers to challenging manufacturers to do highly customized things because we tend to, to take on those challenges ourselves and then we challenge our vendors in in an OEM way and I I can say without doubt that uh, at this IED. Their response to that very challenge of that custom mic station in a smaller footprint was like, yeah, no problem. We'll do it. And they did. Within a week, I, I had drawings. I mean, things move very quickly. So I think that reinforces what, what Justin is saying here is that, you know, you, you guys are really used to being that challenging part of the market where things are highly customized in that small percentage of the, of the project. And you've been doing that for decades. So uh, kind of jumping off of that whole idea of custom installation, sometimes customizations make scalability um, a little bit difficult, somewhat challenging, because you have to make sure that you're not breaking anything uh, that's been customized to work within the parameters that you're telling it to work, right? But but let's talk about any expansion at O'Hare. And we know that um, at some point O'Hare will end up getting bigger, um, adding new terminals. What's the scalability like for this system? It is uh, highly scalable. And to Justin's point a minute ago about redesigning a new amplifier frame, the 9160s 
They're no longer available, and it's a larger frame, but they designed the Cobranet version of the Titan frame, which we are using right now in expanding Terminal 5 in an entire new East Concourse expansion. Um, and we're mixing and matching it with the Cobranet. Now, on the same pond system, which we've also expanded, so, you know, the, the O'Hare... Uh, the O'Hare itself has a larger project uh, goal, if you will, over the next decade to expand substantially the geographic footprint of, of the entire terminal, including building a new international terminal. And that is why Terminal 5, the current international terminal, is, is being renovated and expanded in preparation of moving domestic flights over there so they can demolish Terminal 2 and build a new global terminal in that location and other terminals for other airlines. It's a hub for American and United, uh, as well as a big Delta presence and even Southwest is there now. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's ongoing and unending as far as, you know, from our perspective at the moment. Uh, we think we'll be involved there for quite some time. That was my next question. Do you want to do it again? Oh, what did I say at the beginning? <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it wasn't challenge, it, my grandfather used to say, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So there's a reason that only a select few are doing this sort of thing, and because it can be really challenging. So you have to be fearless at times, and you have to be willing to take chances knowing that you can eventually solve the problem. And you're going to take some hits along the way. You're going to make mistakes. You know, try not to make the same ones. That's the other thing my grandfather used to say. So <laughs> a lot of words of wisdom between tokes and a cigar and a sips of whiskey. So there you <laughs> go. There's my life lesson. <laughs> so, Dan, let's talk really quickly about, so challenges always, um, it's how you come across those solutions and, and how you work with your partners to instill those solutions. But let's talk about ongoing support from Atlas IED. So um, clearly we have uh, an obligation to provide hardware support for the next nine years. But what about um, phone support? What about maintenance? What about the help that you need in order to be a great partner for O'Hare? So yeah, um, we go out and a, a lot of the items are simple fixes and we will just go out and take care of them. But there's a lot of stuff that is a little more advanced and we need support with. And uh, when I'm on site, I'll just put a call into IED and they've got a, uh, a group of staff that are there and ready to answer the phone calls and they're experts and they can jump in and take a look and um, with me on site and them remote, we can pretty much troubleshoot anything um, as well as there's scheduled maintenance visits where they come out and they go through the systems and they make their own backups of uh, software and uh, our configs and uh, they look things over and we go through side by side and test various mic stations and, and do different tests on the system on a uh, semi-regular basis. Um, but there's there's a, a partnership there where um, we do some of it, they do some of it, but we're always working together on it, and it's it's a team effort, and um, the support from the factory is superb, and they've they've really shined and, and given us the support that we need to keep it up. And there's there's a significant investment in training in order to be a certified transportation integrator with Atlas IED, um, not the least of which is three full days in Louisville um, to review GlobalCom GCK software, all the nuances of what you need to know of the the ecosystem. Um, and and who, which one of you took place took uh, took that one, um, and then. What was your experience with that training? So I believe, David, you've taken it, right? I was one of the first ones down there in, I believe it was 2016. I believe there's currently five individuals that have been through it. Um, we're in the process of working through uh, getting additional. Four more. Yeah, four more down to, to go through it as well. Um, just to expand our 
capabilities. There's there's certain aspects that uh, um, I, I believe we're going to send down some of the uh, union technicians that are heavily involved with the airport to get them up to speed. Uh, they're very knowledgeable and they they know their way around the airport and the uh, the hardware. But if they were able to support the software as well. We've got some techs that have picked up a lot of it already, and uh, they're able to do um, a lot of the calibration and, and turn up of different devices. But uh, there's a lot more intricacies to the system that the training really dives deep into, and uh, a lot of the troubleshooting and whatnot, uh, the training helps you get a good grasp on. So that will be helpful for them to go down there and get their hands on the systems in a lab environment and really be able to spend a, a lot of time in a deep dive. So that's, uh, that's a very beneficial uh, thing for our, our team. I love to hear that you're going to keep up with the certification even after the, um, the job is done, although this job is never done, right? So kind of closing this out, I have two final questions for all of you. One is, okay, so you have some success with O'Hare. Are you going to go after another airport job? And two, <laughs> what does 2022 look like for Pentagra? Well, you're, you're looking at, uh, if you're looking at me, I am... <laughs> I am entrenched at O'Hare with all of the additional work and renovation and expansion. Uh, I used to be in sales and now I'm back on, in operations, in fact, under Dan here now. So, um, so he's my boss, so I have to talk nice about him now. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah. But, um, you know, I, as a company, <clears throat> pardon me, um, I know we've uh, recently, within the last couple of months, have started some discussions with uh, Justin and his team about developing a, a more strategic plan uh, with regard to how will we expand business with uh, Atlas IED in particular in transportation, which is a, a fairly recent uh, market for us. Uh, the first big one being uh, O'Hare, as we've been discussing here. So um, we're, we're looking at that and developing uh, our general managers and others are working on that also. I'm kind of involved in, uh, in the support and maybe advisory role and helping where I can and will contribute efforts toward pursuits of other projects, even other airports. So, you know, the simple answer, Gina, is yes, we, we would like to do other airports. We, we came, this was our first airport and talk about biting off a lot. Mm -hmm. And it was a learning experience, but, you know, we came in with a lot of experience and deep knowledge in a lot of different areas. And we leveraged all of that in a way, I think that, made it successful in the airport. The Chicago Department of Aviation is very happy with the system. Uh, hey. Every airport afterwards, David, is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, wink, to wink. That, right? <laughs> Except for that last 5 or 10% that you're talking about. <laughs> the last three. So, That's the fun part. You know, right. As I said, we love challenges. So, you know, if we get we get the opportunity, we're, we're going we're gonna to jump at it. And Dan, what does 2022 look like for Pintegra? 2022, we are, uh, like David said, we're entrenched at the airport right now. Uh, this Terminal 5 expansion is, it's been underway for a little while now, but it is getting to crunch time and uh, it's, it's really ramping up and it's time to start uh, making that go live. So there's a lot of work going on out there and we're going to, um, focus uh, probably through, it's going to be a staged approach opening that up. So probably through the end of the year, we're going to be pretty uh, heavily involved with getting it going. We've got a lot of other projects going on simultaneously, but uh, um, there's a core group of uh, technicians and engineers that are 100% focused on the airport and making that happen. Well, Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. Um, I, I mean, Atlas IED always sounds like success, but it's because of partners like you that allow us to kind of make that claim. 
Um, so I really want to thank you, David, Dan from Pentegra, and Justin, thank you for joining us. I know you have a lot going on in that Louisville office, and we appreciate your time and all the care that you take when you're dealing with our CTI partners. So um, if nobody has anything else, we're going to call it a day and stay tuned for more from Pentegra and Atlas IED. Thank you. Thank you for watching this third and final segment of this three-part series of Atlas IED's Sounds Like Success podcast with Gina, Dave, Daniel, and Justin, focusing on their partnership with Pantegra Systems and their collaboration on the ongoing O'Hare Airport project. Be sure to check out all the podcasts to stay up to date with all things Atlas IED.